Now let's look at the little Maytek buzzer under Ardu Pilot. I have one of the old buzzers with the B plus on it. Oh well. Anyway, there's not much to say about this buzzer because it's wired differently for Ardu playing. Let me plug it in here. Ground signal power. Okay, it's plugged in here. And if I turn on the 765 wing, you'll hear, and it's going to be loud. These things are loud. Uh, that this acts exactly like as if you'd plugged one into Pixhawk. See, it even makes that's because there's no GPS or anything on it. Uh, and you see, it makes that little warble like a pig's hawk. So basically, the buzzer, I think, is going to work in Ardu Pilot in every way that the normal piezo buzzer does on Ardu Pilot in any platform. So all your alarms, all your startup status that the buzzer does, I think this buzzer is going to do. There's no configuration. And if we look at the Maytex site and go to their products, LED and buzzer, and we look at the lost model beeper, uh, a lot of people just call this the D-Buzz 5 volt or D-Buzz 5V right here. And this shows it was redesigned in February of 21, and they took the B-plus off. I don't think they took it off. I think they just removed the silk screen marking. Uh, but that's good. That doesn't confuse anybody anyway anymore. Uh, if we look at the manual, this is the easiest way to look at it. You can see that... For putting this on a flight controller, they use the 5 volt to ground and the B minus connection. If you want to put this on a RC channel as a lost model beeper so that uh, you can raise a channel on your radio and cause it to beep, then you have to wire it differently. You have to wire the PWM out of the RC channel into the aux pad on the beeper and the 5 volts then in the ground. So I'm not going to resolder this beeper to show how it works on an RC output. I mean it does. Uh, guess if I had to put pins on it. I mean, there are pins on it. Hmm. I think there is a way I can do this. Let me stop all of this for a second and try that. Okay. I did rewire it. And the way I did that, oh God, my prototyping wires are 36 inches long. That way I can cut them to whatever length I want if I have to cut them. They're basically old computer ribbon cables that I pull apart into singles. But that's what I did. So here's, oops, I had to put the receiver on it too. Here's three feet of wire. But what I did, you can see here, I connected the aux on the uh, beeper to, uh, let's see, RC channel 5 here to the signal. I connected the center one here, 5 volts, to the center on the servo rail voltage. And I connected this little green one here to the 
um, ground on the servo rail. And that's what I have. And now, according to this uh, wiring diagram right here, This is how I set up those, because I did solder the pins on this, so I could just take that the connector right here that was plugged into the regular port off and put these prototyping wires on. So it is now wired like this upper picture. So it says here that a PWM value of 17 to 2,000, the buzzer is triggered. Oh, that may be one of my problems. And that's all it tells about this little buzzer here. Now down here, if it's hooked to a flight controller, it does tell you about the beeper function in the modes on iNav and if it's again if it's above about 1700 well fine anyway this shows it differently from 1700 but it will be triggered so on the iNav we saw that I also this aux 3 I set to channel 12 on my radio instead of aux 3 would be channel 7 3 up from 4 that would be channel 7 right there if you pull up the channel 7 signal using a switch on your radio then it activates here with the um, iNav but it just I put it on the momentary switch on my uh, radio and it just was on when the switch was on and off when the switch is off I'm getting a little different activity up here in this configuration and wiring it straight to an RC channel so let me show you that okay let me show you first mission planner so inside mission planner I had to come in here to RC channel 5 where I've got it plugged in and change that to pass through that's normally set to disabled right here like this so I had to connect with mission planner and do RC pass through on channel 5 and now without the uh, battery voltage on the um, flight Welcome controller I can show you that the uh, channel 5 switch on my radio right here this one is a two position switch it goes from 988 pwn you can see on the screen when i move it up it goes to 2005 and that was enough on inav to just make it beep when it was high and silent when it's low let me show you what our dude does we look down at the table and I turn on the battery power right here which is not on right now it's on USB power right now you get a single beep out of it on an RC channel when you power up and then when I do the channel 5 yes it starts beeping but when it goes back down and you see on the screen that I'm going between 2005 and 982. It doesn't stop beeping. Oh, there it is. It did stop beeping. Well, let's try that again. Triggered. Off. Oh, it does stop beeping. Okay, a while ago, I guess if I trigger it multiple times, it beeps longer. Uh, yeah, that seems like I triggered it twice by flipping it real quick twice that time. And you can see now it's going through more beeps. Maybe 
I shouldn't have flipped it twice. There you go. So one flip, and let's see how many beeps I get for a quick single flip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight-ish, nine-ish. Try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoops, okay, wasn't the same. So if I flip it twice real quick. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm, okay. Low fine. battery. Got a low battery on my radio, so. That's basically how that would work on an RC channel. Uh, low battery. Uh, Receiver is still connected. I don't think I'm going to run it this way on Ardu. Uh, let me power this down and pull this out, pull all these out. <laughs> uh, so real quick with these, look how long these wires are. They keep going and going and going and going. They're 36 inches long. And now I can pull each individual one of them off the... Uh, board here <laughs> that's just the way I prototype <laughs> and then I can put the buzzer back onto the three center pins like I had it there we go voltage ground and signal so now it will work like if it was a Pixhawk piezo buzzer We'll listen to that little song again here. I'll turn it on, the battery. That's the way I'm going to run it. An Ardu plane, Ardu pilot, Ardu copter, Ardu sub, whatever. Okay. Thank you so much for watching.